Okay. So very similarly, I have my grassy surface here. And this one's a little bit, it's somewhat similar to the last one we just did, where we're going to um, create a set of division on our surface. I think actually I did for all three, where I go through this process of dividing our surface into different cells. Instead of creating the extrusion walls, these are going to be planters, or not planters, pavers, that start to kind of decrease in size, in size as if they're being eroded away to reveal the grass underneath. So again, let's enable these components and turn them on. So like I said before, you have this um, cell division of the surface. What's good is that now you know how you can even change, how you can change your cell size based off the last one. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can apply the lessons from the last uh, script to make it a little bit more interesting. If you ever want to change your cell amount, you can do that here. So this can be um, cell division. So these are the sliders you're going to adjust to change that. And you can see if I change this, that I can add more cells going in the U direction. Or I can change the cells in the V direction to just change the size of these pavers. So there's that part. Um, like I said before, it's going to be very similar. We're going to do it a little bit differently in terms of how we apply the logic and operation to this. I'm going to enable this part all the way up to here. And what this part of the component is after this is that we're evaluating the surface to determine the slope conditions. This is pretty much the same operation we do to find out the, the slope analysis. But for this scripting exercise, we're using the slope of our surface to determine how much of the pavers get eroded away. So the higher or the steeper the slope, the smaller these pavers become because it indicates this idea of the steep embankment um, being eroded away. So we're going to also turn on, so once you get this, this is going to convert the, the angle of the surface into slope percentage. This one here where it says larger than with the slider, this is the next one that we can use to adjust our output. So I'm going to so after you, after this larger component, there's this kind of jellyfish of components that come afterwards. I'm going to move those over real quick. And I'm going to, for this example, I should be able to actually, um, I'm going to take these parts are here where it says extruded with a preview and this color tone. I'll keep those disabled, but I'm going to enable everything else. And I'm going to go to the top of the script and turn on surface. So what this is doing is showing which surfaces are being, that aren't going to be adjusted because of their slow percentage. So if I want to either use more or less, let's turn this one off as well. So you can see these are basically the pavers that aren't going to be affected because they have a slow percentage that's less than 15%. But if I want to include more or less, I can change this slider value. So I go back to this larger Maybe I do it to 32%. 
I just like this. Let's, oh, I have to do 31. I like this output because it kind of creates this implied pathway that's happening. And then all these other cells that are not showing up are what's going to shrink or scale. So this is kind of like your existing paver condition. Again, you probably don't want to have this much um, impervious pavers. I mean, you could say that they're impervious or that they're permeable pavers to kind of decrease the runoff. But anyways, so, so there's that part. If I want to see which cells are being affected, I can use this dispatch to see which ones are going to be resized. These other dispatch components are using the same rule of sticking with this 31 slope percent, but they're controlling the different outputs such as this middle one controls the direction of extrusion. And this last one dictates the remapping of how much it gets scaled by. So let's go ahead and turn this scale component on. So you can already see that these are scaling based off of their slope percentage. So again, as they get steeper, they shrink or resize more. Whereas as they start to kind of meet that 31% threshold, they start to maintain their original size. And again, we can always adjust those using this domain condition. So here's another component that you can adjust for your output. So this is going to be paver scale factor. So near this domain where you have a 0.96 and 0.25, this is saying what the uh, minimum scale is gonna be. So 0.96, so that there's at least some size change, but then you're scaling at a maximum of 0.25. So it's gonna be a quarter of the size of the original. And you can see what happens when you adjust these. So these small ones, if I increase this, they get larger. If I wanna scale them even more, I can change that value. If I want these larger ones to almost blend perfectly with the existing ones, I can raise that up to one. If I want them to have a more drastic scale change, I can decrease that value. But I wanna have it kind of close to the original scale factor so that it's not as abrupt. So you can kind of see it very slowly starting to resize. And again, what's good about this is that if I want to, maybe I really like this output, but I want more pavers to change. I could really do it to rescale every single paver if I start to decrease this value. So now you can see almost every single one of these is getting rescaled so that there's a lot more of the original surface that's gonna to start to pop through. So this larger component here with this slider, that's another one that you can adjust. So this will be your slope parameter. And then that's pretty much the, the rest. You can use this amplitude component where it has 0.25 to adjust the thickness of the paver. So right now it's 0.5 feet or six inches uh, thick. If I go ahead and enable these now, I'll turn these ones off, turn this preview on. Let it think for a second. 
and I just have these color coded as gray, I'll go back to the original and turn on this green preview. So now you can start to see how this kind of concrete surface gets eroded away to reveal some of this grass underneath. So this becomes this interesting fractured hardscape. Like I said, if you want to reveal more of that grass, you can always change your um, scale factors. Obviously with the more of these components on, the more it's going to lag when you change these values, but it'll eventually get the job done. So there you go, now they're around, I'm still thinking, still thinking. So 0.79, now you can see that there's really none that are touching, it's just this interesting textured um, surface. Any questions for this one? Yeah, again, the logic behind the um, 